Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Between Bells. I'm Baker Machado in New York. A new NFT platform is putting music and content in the hands of fans. Vault is the mind of former FanDuel co-founder Nigel Eccles, and it allows creators to curate exclusive content for music and videos. That content plays on the platform via VIP invitations. And now the company is teaming up with independent artist Pip to launch his new album, Cotton Candy Skies. So joining us now to discuss, Nigel Eccles, CEO and founder of Vault and singer and songwriter Pip, great to have you both here, guys. Happy Friday. Nigel, I want to start with you. Uh, we've seen a lot of other NFT platforms team up with artists and release music, but walk us through how Vault works here and what's sort of the inspiration behind this platform. Yeah, so Vault's actually very different from those platforms because the way we've built it is we use the NFTs as a key that unlocks a Vault. And it's only the people who have those keys can actually see the contents of the Vault. Most NFT platforms, Anyone can have it, whether you own it or not, can see the content. With us, we we made it exclusive. Which is amazing. Okay, so, Pip, let's talk about the music creation process and all of this. Explain a little bit more about the, the EP here and what was sort of the creative process to making Cotton Candy Skies. Yeah, it was uh, super inspired by my trip out to visit my sister when she was out in uh, West Hollywood, the sunsets, sucker for sunsets, and uh, was one of the first songs I ever wrote. Um, and yeah, for the past year and a half, we've been writing and producing for some big artists and with the power of the blockchain and NFTs and then our partnership with Vault, we thought, you know what, let's jump ship and, and go into the blockchain and, and partner up and, and release the music. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a crazy ride. It, things are just getting kicked off, but it's super inspiring to be able to help other people out and show them that there's a new way in this industry. Absolutely. And so, Nigel, what I find to be most impressive here is the affordability of a lot of these mm -hmm. NFTs. For instance, the 500 NFT keys from Pip's album vault, priced $24.99, like really, really cheap. If you go to any other place for, for yeah. NFTs, we're talking tens, if not hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of dollars. So why was yeah. affordability sort of important here? Yeah, that's very deliberate. Um, both affordability and we also allow you to buy in-app or with credit card or PayPal. But the way we look at this is we look at this as a premium format. So vinyl is a format, CD is a format. We think of this as a digital format. And so if it's a digital format, you know, that should be like $25 to $50. It shouldn't be like $1,000. It should be for, you know, so fans can listen to musicians on Spotify but we want to create a format that's slightly premium, but still accessible. Okay, so Pip, let's talk about what your fans get out of the vault, out of being part of the vault and these NFTs that they normally would never get here when they're listening to you. Yeah, so the first thing I would say is like, the big thing is that we're giving the people for the first time in decades, the ability to actually own uh, a project. I mean, if you bought an album back on iTunes in the day, you had it in your possession, but you can't send it around. You can't resell it on a secondary market. Um, with Vault, you're owning that album. You can resell it on a, on a secondary network uh, market, or you could send it to a friend. So you're actually owning the music. That's one. And two, we have exclusive content, such as a music video um, for one of the singles on the EP, and exclusive like uh, explanation videos of how I wrote the songs and whatnot. So it's a cool, cool model that we structured with Vault, um, and they helped out a lot on that end, and I think it's gonna set a precedent for big artists and small to do this in the future. It's just a digital vinyl. It's a new version of it. Yeah, so Nigel, do, do fans of a lot of these artists, do they have to own crypto to be able to partake in this, or is there another sort of currency that they can do so they can still partake in a lot of this? No, they don't need to own crypto. In fact, to get this, all they have to do is go to vault.fan. They can purchase it there with PayPal, credit card, download the app, and then the album will be in the app. And so they never have to touch crypto to have the full experience. Uh, Pip, as an independent artist, not sort of having to be bound by your record label or what uh, algorithms are telling you you need to make, is this sort of a unique process for an independent artist to sort of do things on your own and, and go by your own schedule and what you think is more interesting to you as an artist? Yeah, it's huge. Um, the, the game now with the Web2 industry and the normal music industry is all about quantity. You have to pump out a song a month, put out three TikToks a day, to even have a shot of making it. It's like a lottery ticket. Um, with NFTs now, now that the economic model is a little different, um, you're able to, to raise money with a small amount of fans. It's all about the quality of the fan rather than the quantity. So quantity, TikTok, high streaming numbers on, on Spotify and whatnot. Now it's, hey, can I go get 100 real super fans to pay me $25, $100? 
Um, and that's what we're doing over at Cotton Cane Records. And with Vault partnering with us, it's it's been incredible, and we're just going to spread it around. Uh, Nigel, obviously, Pipping Independent allows him to have access to this, but do you see a, a scenario where you have artists that are part of record labels joining this? Is this a, is this a big business for them as well with you guys? Yes, absolutely. Um, so we we're, we love working with independents uh, because they have complete uh, freedom from what they do, but we also have relationships with the labels, and the labels, interestingly, they actually really love this format. They've always they loved they've always loved uh, albums. And with streaming, they've lost albums. Like it's become about singles. And so as one label said to us, this is a return of the album, but this album is digitally native. It, you can own it, you can lend it to friends, you can sell it. Uh, so you do own it, but it is a full album um, that is, is only like a digital format. Uh, Pip, do you feel like NFTs are here to stay? What do you say to those who think maybe this is just a passing fad? Yeah, I couldn't be more confident about anything in my life. Um, anybody that says that, I would just say go go get educated on it because it is here to stay. And especially in the music industry, within the next three or five years, it's going to be a, a big disruptor. All right. Uh, well, this is amazing. Nigel, by the way, you're very, very busy. You also co-founded BetDex. That is a decentralized sports betting exchange. So mm -hmm. many states, Ohio, others, basically now getting into the sports gambling sphere. Where do you see this going in the next five plus years here? Yeah, so, you know, it's funny, this is the one market where the U.S. is like 20 years behind a lot of the rest of the world. So where I'm from, originally UK, we've had legalized online sports betting for over 20 years. And so what we're seeing in the U.S. is really catch up. Um, you know, like I remember five years ago, people saying, isn't it amazing I can bet with an app on my phone? And I say, well, the people in the UK have been able to do that for 20 years. Um, so what we're seeing is that progressively rolling out across the country. And, you know, what you see is, you know, if if um, New Jersey does it and Connecticut do it, then absolutely New York is gonna go, we need to catch up. And that's what we're seeing across these different states as they kind of roll out legislation. And every year we're seeing five to seven states enable online sports betting, which is great. Um, I think it's something that there's a ton of demand for, and I think it's a really fun a fun product. Uh, uh, Pip, I have about a minute left with you. Obviously, music fans, this is a great time to be a music fan just because the industry is changing so much with NFTs, with now the metaverse, where you can see concerts now in the metaverse. Uh, how do you sort of see the music in the digital world sort of integrating over the next little while, and where do you see this all going? Yeah, that's a great question. I mean, we already prove that the digital format can translate into real life events. Um, we just had our launch party for the EP last Friday in Hudson Yards and people that had no clue about crypto and NFTs were able to get in with free access, open bar, VIP lounge. And they were like, wait, this, this floating thing on my phone, this picture, this JPEG gets me this. So that's how it's going to start to click for people. And yeah, we're, we're happy to be a part of it and vaults for the ride. So. It's definitely a great time to be a music fan right now. Nigel Eckel, CEO and founder of Vault, and singer and songwriter Pip joining us here on Cheddar News. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. And coming up next in Between Battles, we're heading down to Mississippi. We're visiting the pink, and season two of P-Valley is out today. And we're sitting down with the show's creator.